Hello and welcome to this situation picture of the Ukrainian counteroffensive. Ukraine is advancing around Bakhmut, is ga gaining significant ground. This and more here in this video. After initial attacks in the south, here, uh, the reports were they opened up the fighting from the flank in the north and then were able to roll up the Russian positions. The Ukrainians have not just reached the canal, but they have also crossed it. After that, the attacks were happening south of Ivanivske, Ivanivske where the Ukrainians were able to push the Russians back from the so important T0504, the main lifeline for the rest of Bakhmut that is still being defended on the Ukrainian side. The newest report is of a Ukrainian counterattack at Bodanivka, east towards it, and they were able to throw back the Russians to the Berhivske reservoir here, so around two kilometers further east. The, uh, there's also fighting in the city itself, and we have a video here of Ukrainian soldiers. Um, clearly, it seems to be clearly posing in with a tank in the background shooting on Wagner positions but it has been geolocalized to this position here and this is to show it on the map this is the industrial college here so the Ukrainians have clearly crossed the TO 504 and have recaptured some positions inside of Bakhmut. Um, the, the, uh, in total we can say this is probably not the main push of a big Ukrainian counteroffensive. This seems to be more the usage of local weaknesses by the Russians um, of, of demonstrated weaknesses and low quality on the flanks of the Wagner groups, uh, fighters around Bakhmut, that the Ukrainians were able to exploit while at the same time improving the supply situation and the, um, securing the lines of communication into Bakhmut itself. This, the attack there though, while it might, might just be exploiting local weaknesses, is at a very smart point along the whole front line as this is one of the fault lines of the Russian armed forces. Wagner is a militia or a mercenary group um, run by a private man that is um, a, supposedly a billionaire but also has criminal past like he's a very weird uh, person Prigozhin out of the regular structures what well, he's his troops are fighting there while he's attacking the traditional Russian armed forces structure very vocally if here on the along the fault lines some significant changes are being taken if the ukrainians are able to break through here this will have um, ripple effects into the russian uh, sphere itself as the blame game afterwards will be significantly in, inside uh, attacking different positions that have huge followings inside the russian supporters of the war at the same time the um the um, Wagner Group here is is one of the most effective attacking forces in this uh, in in this phase of the war. We've seen so far the only significant achievements that have been achieved by the Russians in their winter offensive was at Bakhmut in the north and in the south. The most they achieved were a few kilometers in advance, whereas in Bakhmut they actually gained some territory. So while they are being thrown he back here, while the flanks of Wagner are threatened. At the same time, Bakhmut has been turned into one of the most important battles for the, this phase of the war. Not just because not because Bakhmut is the essential of the whole front line here, but because of some cost. It was fought so long over that now it has gained a significance much higher than its actual value. Russia will have no choice if Bakhmut is actually threatened to send reinforcements. At least that's a regular regular calculus, uh, calculations calculation that the Russians will have to commit. Their their strategic reserve to stabilize the front lines which are currently weakened and willing and possible to crumble this obviously might save Bakhmut might save the gains in Bakhmut for the Russian side but this will weaken their strategic reserve that they then can throw at uh, Ukrainian counteroffensive and other positions on this channel this was today a situation picture on the current developments of the front line I will continue doing these short videos whenever something is worth mentioning other than that we have the regular situation reports that are on this channel so if you're new here I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future videos
If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment for the algorithm. What do you think? Will this turn into some kind of Stalingrad where the strength of the Russian forces are committed to a house to house fighting to then be encircled and maybe destroyed? Leave your comments. Not only can this lead to interesting discussions, but it really also helps with the algorithm. Also, this channel is only possible because of the support from viewers like you. So if you like to support the channel, you can do so by the means in the, in the description. Thank you very much to everyone already supporting the channel. And that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching and I'll be back.